Ah, good morning, everybody. Tobin and Leroy here with you. 560 WQAM. Hello, Leroy. What's up? How are you, buddy? Well, the Dolphins won, and they forced me to stay up all night. Wow. Stay up, stayed up the whole time? I stayed to the wow. whole time. Good for you, buddy. If they would have scored that touchdown instead of kicking a field goal, like in the middle of the fourth quarter, I was done up. Could have gotten some early snooze. Yeah, but they kicked the field goal. Um, and, I mean, like, look, here's the thing. I want to win. Yeah. And it was a team win for this reason. Two and probably didn't play his best game. The defense picked him up. Mm -hmm. Two it did make some some plays third and 16 and, and stuff like that. Um, but the other offense was just, it was a defensive game. Because the other offense wasn't necessarily moving the ball, you know, like they had been the last few weeks. So they've been humming the last couple of weeks, right? That's what I'm saying. They've so been, they had, they've been playing really so, well, the Rams. So the so the defense did a heck of a job. I will tell you this. I know a lot of them guys were probably happy they ain't got to chase a quarterback around the backfield. That was nice, right? That was nice having to get a statue back there. Right. That's great. So so that's that is um, you know, it's a good win. It was like it doesn't matter what you think of any individual player in this game that was a good win on the west coast prime time so let's move so before you guys start let's move the bar so now we can't say okay well they got one monkey off their back temporarily that is winning a prime time game on the west coast yep just a prime time game in general right okay so look we got over that so now let's move forward to next week we checked that off the box. We finally got primetime win. Yep. On Monday night, they didn't look terrible. And let's go from there. But as usual, you know what's going to happen. They just going to move the bar. The complaints are going to be about something else. I don't think there's anything that you should really complain about today if you're a Dolphin fan. Okay. Like you if you wanted would you, would you like If you wanted if you wanted to come into this today and yeah. if you unless you wanted the season to be over just because you think it's delaying the inevitable. It was a good overall team win. It was a pretty entertaining right. game. Yes. There were mistakes for a low for score both. for a relatively low score game. You were on the edge of your seat. Dude, there was the bananas. Whole time. There was right. three straight possessions with turnovers. It was crazy. Right. But like I, I mean, you know, it was one of those where you you got a pretty cool you got a pretty cool start to the game. You got to see your rookies do a really good job yesterday. Malik Washington got his first touchdown fast. Right. Uh Chop Robinson got his first sack that he actually got to celebrate, which was cool because everybody did it together. So that was pretty badass. Right. Tyreek Hill got back in the end zone for the first time forever after you were terrified that he was not going to play. No, right. You can complain one thing. What? Why does Waddle? Why can't Waddle catch the ball? I don't know. He, does, he has moments. I told you. It's guys, not even though. moments, bro. That Because, you know, Buck tried to say, oh, it was deflected. And then when you saw the replay, it was like, no, it was right through his hands. And then I don't know if he was making a joke because of the know. Cowboys thing or if he was serious, but then he starts going, uh, lights were in the eyes. And I'm like, is he making a joke there about the Cowboys thing or is no, he, did um, he genuinely think the lights I, bothered him? Can I just tell you, some some stadiums, the way, the way where how high their lights are, depending on where the ball's thrown, it is a problem. But you normally try to catch the ball like this. If I'm, you always try to... That upper, the upper part of your helmet will block that, the sun or the light or whatever. If you all of a sudden look up, it could get you. But that would be a fine excuse if you was catching everything. You've been kicking the ball's ass for a lot of the year. <laughs> That's what I've been so saying. So I'm not. So I'm not. I'm not gonna give That's why you. I texted a, you guys yesterday. So and said I'm not saying it, but I know you're all thinking. Even it. even this time, if you have a legitimate. Uh, Excuse, we can't buy it because that wasn't the excuse two and three weeks ago. Yeah, that so was there. this is here. This, this is the 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 definition of fat cat syndrome. Possibly, possibly. Well, he's and, gonna have to beat those allegations, right? Here, we're, we're building a case on you. Them. Ready for my first three texts mm -hmm. in the group chat with the negative Nancys? How bad is he? Throw it away. Dolphins need to draft a quarterback. Uh, they're drafting. Get an offensive line also. Playing prevent, 
it, it was prevents a rough night for from Robert winning. Jones. It was a rough night for Robert Jones. Right. Why can't this D ever make a player stop when they need to? This defense, who basically shut down the offense that's been rolling for the last no two touchdowns, years. no touchdowns. Second time in like Matthew Stafford's career, I believe. Right. Now they, I mean, the guy we really should be shouting out more than anybody is Mother Bleeping Calais Campbell. Yes, Calais. Like, wait, first Campbell. of all. <laughs> Between him and Sealer batting balls down. 92 and 93. Bro. It was like Aaron Judge and uh this, right. yes. yeah, this, is, this yes. is crazy. This is crazy. This man is this man is pushing 40 and he is like he he's having a, a Pro Bowl season. It's crazy. He's batting balls. He's causing havoc. He's sacking everybody. This is insane to do this at his age. I like where Giants smile. He was smiling a lot on the sideline yeah. yesterday. But it and it's it now there was one moment. When old ass Calais were chasing old ass Stafford. Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> it was like, oh, I won't slow down. <laughs> I mean, I think they they both took a knee together after that, that little boy. Like, you old, yeah, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> Bring in hand. Yeah, so <laughs> so. No, nah, he was incredible though. He, he was, like he really set the tone of yesterday's game. Right. He said the Tony yesterday's game from the get go. He was then, incredible. And then Chop, look, Chop ain't got to run around and chase nobody. The guy's right there, so he's getting in on it. Yep, it was a hell of a move too. Yeah. Oh, did you see him go upfield and underneath? Yeah. Oh, got to have my man on skates. I was happy that he had that because, like, Jared Verse has been having a crazy season, so it was good to see the Dolphins rookie show out a little bit. That yeah. guy's good though. But <laughs> yeah. Woo. Now uh, he was. I will tell you hell. this. Kudos to that defense for this. It was getting pretty thin in that secondary. Oh, yeah. We had some faces that we were not accustomed to seeing, and it showed. Talking right? about Saran Neal? Huh? Yeah, Talking about Saran Neal? Their special teams corner. <laughs> <laughs> when Saran hey. Neal came in and then Stafford's eyes lit up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm like, no, no, not 33. Oh. And he would look. He was running across that formation like, I got this. I got this. He looked like he knew what he was doing. Felt confident. Felt confident. And then I realized, okay. But but uh, you called it last night on the chat about Janu. Janu had the yeah, – Ingo, Ingo's out. Janu's got a – Janu had that. That was a beast run, dude. Beast run. That was cool. That was awesome. Beast run. Um, But, yeah, I think, I think he is – as time moves on, if they continue to use him in that way, that's going to open up – you know, that's going to open up. Tyreek and Waddle simply because if he's going across the middle and you the linebackers stop to make sure they get him, the area over the top is much better. Like mm -hmm. when Tua dropped that dime over there, was who was it in the uh I think in the fourth quarter? Oh, the one he threw to Malik and threw three guys. Corner, no, I'm talking about the one he threw over uh it was a, a corner route or a seven route. And he drew, threw it over the corner and underneath the safety. I'm like, that's 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 it. My favorite play is when he had the uh, the spin out with oh, yeah, Moster. Yeah, yeah. That was sick. Yeah, on his blind side, but I was that's, like, Woo. That's, that's, that was that was that was nasty. Yeah, but uh, again, we talked about the offensive line being decent. They weren't very good yesterday. Nah, no, they weren't. And and although people, props, I gotta give I gotta give Eichenberg props on something. What great flop. <laughs> <laughs> Great flop on the headbutt. That's a heady play. <laughs> Wait, I know there's one play you must have loved. It was from the opposing team, but this was such a Tobin play. Oh, the the guy that the wet <laughs> Willie, the wet Willie. Oh yeah, that was great. Uh, Kyron Williams. He Kyron gets the Williams old, gave him the wet Willie finger in the ear hole of uh, Cater Kohu. Yeah. I thought I was like, oh, Tobin must be laughing. That right was now. funny. Oh, that was God. fun. No, there was a lot of shenanigans in that game yesterday. A lot of shenanigans in that game, but that was uh, that headbutt, that headbutt flop. That was a great play by by Liam Meikenberg. Get an extra fifteen. Right. Good play by him, dude. And he and he initiated. He gave the little shovsky. He he got the guys like, oh yeah, bang, yes. uh, got him. Uh, uh, <laughs> what are we doing? Like, is is your job not hard enough? Now we got to go into acting. It's great acting. He got but a penalty for it. I got to give him props. For all the people that here, one of the hardest things for Tua to kind of navigate through right now, right, is 
trying to make a play, throwing the ball away versus trying to make something happen. Safe. Right. And so you have moments in time where he almost looked like he was going to throw it, and he's like, no. And he's usually never that hesitant. But when you have a pick and a fumble in a close game, right, the the sack isn't the worst thing mm-hmm. than, than just chucking it up. Yeah, Aikman was giving him a hard time about it yesterday. But no, you can't because he didn't know where to throw it. Oh, hello, oh, Jennifer. Wow. Woo. You almost hit a triple-double on the ass. Man. 10-18. Sheesh. You know, if you'd have got two more rebounds, you would have had the triple-double. <laughs> she get that Wimby. 10-18 is good at um, 100 meters. <laughs> huh? So 10-18 would be good for 100 meters. Yeah. But that would be your fast and on time. Yeah. Football? <laughs> yeah, <it> was. <laughs> She's lashing out right now. Why are you lashing out? Wow, man, man. Um. Oh my god. Oh, here we that go. Train. The train. Minus one. A guy in a wheelchair was back for sass. The the J Fig traffic chronicles strike again. Wait. You know, if a guy in a wheelchair backs into your car, you win. Wow. Right. Um, <laughs> so the big story going into that game was Tyree Kill's wrist. Apparently he has a torn ligament in his wrist. From the arrest. He says it was from the arrest, but then after the game, he said it was from blocking. So I don't know. What to yeah, believe. what's going on with that? A lot of shenanigans. He's given, uh, he's given multiple answers on this. This is why well, I tell you with Tyree because, Kill, you got to be careful. Well, yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know, man. Like, But can we just say, whatever the aggravation of the injury was, we got to be doing the RKO out of nowhere to celebrate. Oh, did. Oh, my God. Wait, wait that was the celebration? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Time out. Let I think get, that's what the wrestling this. was. Let me get this. So the two guys that are always banged up. Yep. One that just got back. They got some old WWE crap going on. Yeah. I'm like. I was like, what? Anybody that was not those? safe. Anybody but those two. There were two things that were really stupid in that game yesterday. One was Tua trying to lower his head to tra- oh to try and God. tackle his interception, and then those guys playing WWE in the end zone. You know what's crazy though? <laughs> we have a rule in football, and I, they probably excuse Tua, but if a quarterback throw a pick, hey. Don't be caught watching. But he, it looked like Tua got over there and said, uh oh. <laughs> but his explanation was wild. Did you hear his explanation after the game? No, I didn't even hear it. Oh, he was saying that I even talked to the guy that intercepted. I was like, hey, why don't you go to the sideline? And he was like, oh, look, yeah, that guy who looks like a Viking? Yeah, he was like, well, I was trying to, but there was enough space. And I'm like, well, but first of all, hold on, hold on. We're not doing that. We're not doing Rosebum? that. Rosebum? Is that what right. the guy's name was? We're not doing that. First of all, people are not looking at each other while in the in the, in the middle of the game looking like, oh, you're going to go out of bounds? Well, I should go out of bounds um, because you have a concussion. No, but here's, concussion here's the deal. History. That's uh, not happening. Vlad, 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 to, to be, there's certain positions, right, that you don't even, like, you just go out of bounds, right? Like, I've had... I've had to go and defend somebody on an interception. And I instead of just going at him, I just backed up till he went out of bounds because I was the last line of defense. Right. So it doesn't look very aggressive, but the alternative is terrible. Uh Tua kind of avoided seven people to go put his head in there. That's the problem I had. He doesn't, he doesn't. You just need to be near it. To to let people know I tried. that yeah you don't need to actually go in one inch from the sideline and go make a tackle. He keeps telling me he doesn't want to be the poster child for concussions, but he, his actions say that's otherwise. Everything that's, <laughs> every oh time you see him, you fold it up. So we did the post game this morning, right? And then so when I was saying that, because I said I was like, why would he do that? All right, bad enough you already threw the interception. Second of all, keep your head on the swivel. Now you're a defender; they're looking to hit you, but maybe they might not hit you because it's you. But don't go ahead first, especially to a guy's legs, where 
a knee, knee to the head. You can't knee. take on that guy. Is a, that guy's a rhinoceros? You can't take him on. <laughs> I'm telling you, with his with his with his I Van have, Ginkle hair that hey, was draping through the true art behind being there without making any contact is you go over there, right, and you just angle yourself so that he can't run through you. And then he'll just go out of bounds. It it always works. You don't have to hit the guy right there. Now, if I'm running the football and I see somebody coming over there like that, I'm going to light him up. Right? But here's there's no hope for two of them. It, here's why none of this stuff bothers me, Vlad Tobin. Here's why. Mm-hmm. If you ever go onto the field and not play football, that's when you get hurt. You see what I'm saying? He didn't look well, like he was playing well, Hold football, on. Though. After the fact, we all looking at these plays and trying to figure out how he can be safer. But if he goes into those moments trying to be safer, you let your guard down, and that's when you get hurt. So I expect him to do uh, – they'll probably look at some film and say, Tua, what are we doing here, buddy? Like, like, yeah, look, listen, listen. They say uh, we are past the stage of trying to look a certain way, okay? The only thing we want you to look is healthy for the next play, all right? But it's hard for a quarterback to just throw the ball away without even giving giving the play a chance because keep in mind, the plays that he did make, he held on to the ball also. So now you you just picking and choosing what plays he should and what plays he should. I just don't want to be in a position to get Jorge Masvidal. Uh, I know, I know, I know. But what? What do you do? This, you you just say this. Here's what you do: Tua, play football, do everything you can to be safe. That's all you can do. Don't take any crazy. You know. Don't do anything crazy. Do whatever you can to be as safe as you can while playing football. Keep in mind, you are playing football. For these people to think you could go there through a whole game and never get touched or hit or whatever, and what you have to do is prepare your body for it. So you got to know you're going to get hit. You got to know. You got to expect to get hit. And you just have to do it, play accordingly. It almost looked like Armstead was trying to pull him out of there. No, do it. No. Yeah, but he... If he he could have got hurt pulling two out of there. Take a break. Back <laughs> after this. Intercepted me <laughs> and asked him, like, bro, you couldn't just like ran out of bounds or like cut back. It's like you seen me and I seen you. Like you wanted to just run me over. He he told me after the game, there was like, he's like, there's no room. There, like there was nowhere else to go. So, you know, he he got to do what he got to do to to help his team win games and no, I wasn't. I wasn't planning on using my head to go hit hit him. Yeah. All right. But Which you is did. Exactly how I explain. You yeah. you put yourself in the situation, right? And and here's the other thing. You can't go over there and get lit up yourself. So whoever had the ball, he ain't about to go over there and get hit by a pissed off offensive lineman. So you are gonna be prepared for anything on the other team. Uh, Tua could have stayed out of there, though. You see what I'm saying? Tua could have just stayed out of the – you go get close. Here's what you are. On an interception, you're the kicker, right? We don't expect you to make the play unless it's absolutely necessary. He could have been getting his Gatorade and towel already on the sidelines. I would have been fine with it. I'm like, <laughs> them's the breaks. Bad interception. I don't need him to go uh, level his head. I don't need it. Right. Okay. I'm good. I'm good with it. He's, you know, but I get it. This has been a thing with him forever. He's reckless. He's Man, reckless. That, he's, like, did, um, FYI, most football players are a little reckless. That's fine. I mean, did you see Saquon Barkley do a backward? Awesome. Oh, okay. Also very reckless. Nah, he was going to be telling. I'm just telling you. That what makes football football is the fact that there's a whole bunch of grown-ass men on the field being reckless. 
Not like that, dude. Not like that. What? He's got to know. He's gonna. He's got to know the but losing you, battles. You're, you're asking a person, like you're asking somebody to know when to and when not to. No, be. I'm asking somebody who's had more consequences with his head than anybody in recent really? memory. Hey, I told you, my second year in the league, I woke up in the hospital. Yeah, that didn't stop me from playing football any different. When was the second time that happened? When you didn't know? Uh, it didn't. That's right. Well, no, but I didn't stop playing football the way I played. Did you get blindside hit again? No, I didn't get blindside hit that time. I was from tackling the smallest guy in the NFL. Mm-hmm. So you kept it out of your weight class. <laughs> no, I just, I, I just I went to the, the next week. I say, uh, I think we might be done with this kickoff stuff. If there's <laughs> one guy I don't want to be in contact with, it's the giant linebacker with hair down to his ass. Oh, because you know he's just <laughs> just a reckless intangible again battering ram. You don't know reckless intangibles. <laughs> you don't know who you dealing with, but you have to take every person you dealing with serious. Guy looks like he only eats turkey legs. <laughs> Raw. Like <laughs> right off the stick, no right off the hell. wait, right off the fire. Like the with the little fire on the stick. If, Rose, he, if he cooks it. Yeah. So yeah, like I, I get God's it. name is Rose Boom. It's easy for us to look at the TV and determine how a player can be safer, safer or not. Right? But when you are out there, you just play football. Like he has listen, there are certain situations I agree. Like, I know he, here's what he didn't want. And I promise you, this is what he was thinking. I can't throw a pick and be caught standing around watching. I know, but that, he can. that's a bad look. Wait, hey, Vlad, we turn on the TV mm-hmm. today, this mm-hmm. morning on mm-hmm. ESPN oh, or whatever we watch no, it. He's and two are just standing not. around, and two are just threw a pick. What it, they gonna say? There's two things they're gonna say. One. He's not. Oh man! After you make it a mistake like that, you have to show hustle. You gotta. You got. Right. You, you gotta yeah, make and an what I would, and, 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 then, and then second, the host would be. Is that an indication that he's not fully back from this concussion? That right. he's okay. And then, who, and okay. Then, and then who's the guy who comes in and be like, "Oh, okay. Did we want to do another three days on should to continue to play football? Oh no. Okay. Great segment. Guys. No, they're. Not, I'm telling you. But that, like that's, like, that's you know how stupid way. that is. Like. Yes, have an idea. No, Do you this, understand this, how dumb this, that is? That, that, that all of these anybody would question that, and yet they're the it. same shows all, that would go out there and say he shouldn't play football anymore. All of these conversations are stupid. No, this isn't a stupid because conversation. Because you just got to play is, football, and no. you have to be. First okay. of all, that's not playing football. What, it, he, what he basically did was when you throw a pick and you go make us interesting. You go. He basically made himself a hopscotch obstacle. He's not a linebacker, so but his he tackles did. are always going to look awkward. Of course, no, 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 Listen, he's right to go to make go for the play, but don't go low. Like this, you he, can't go high. I'd rather him go high and don't get go and, anywhere. And I I rather right. him go high listen, and get deflected here's, off. Here's what I got to teach to to talk to. Let me tell you something. I did this for a long time. Okay, give me a call. We gonna teach you how to try without trying. See what I'm saying? We gonna teach you how to run over there hard. Yeah, you can fake it. Right? Yes. You got real. You got to run over there. You got to run over there, and then see other people, and just take that angle. I'm gonna be the safety. Mm -hmm. That's what you got to do. Don't put your head in there. He'll learn. He'll learn. He'll learn. But right now, he can't say he'll learn. Yes, yes, he will. We can't see that. We don't know that he's gonna learn. Yes, yes, he will. Because here's the problem. He's gonna have to learn. Here's the problem. Right now, tour. And the tour conversation is so volatile with all uh, in the NFL, everything that he does, right? That he is the one person that has to look the part and look, and and every situation has to look right for him to survive the week. It don't even matter if they win or lose. There's no way anybody's criticizing him for that. There's no way. If you are, you're a bleep hole. No. So, dude. You if him anybody, if anybody gets it. an, I get it. Then that's that, that. Then it should be him. Okay. Just be like nobody wants to see that guy back. Back. You don't. It, it's not. Out. It's not even the people. It's you know. No. Here's no. Who, let me tell you who needs to say something. Okay. Here 
is what he needs to do. And somebody needs to do, not the coaches, not the media, okay? One of his players need to go up and say, hey, buddy, we got this. Get the, stay the hell out of here. That's when he'll, not when a coach says it, not when he sees it on TV, when another player on the team, right? If you throw a pick, you can go over there. Don't get in the mix. We got it. Coach wasn't too pleased. Did he say something? No, I think the the best way to do that is not to throw throw it to the opponent. Um, I, Fair point. These are the moments that um, I can feel the feel the growth from the three years the most is, you know, where where something doesn't go well or something, you know, Tua gets so so mad at himself and holds himself to a high standard, but he's also recognizing that he's, um, you know, the the franchise quarterback of this team. So you can't uh, go too deep into your own um, your own uh, self lashing. You have to um, lead and 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 you have to move on from things, good or bad. So I thought he did a very good job of taking those L's, so to speak, um, and not having it affect his play. Um, as as he progressed and moved forward through the game, uh, so I was I was very happy with that. I'd prefer not to have the adversity, but um, you know those that that's that's not really the the case in NFL football. You have to be ready to um, pick yourself back up and go at it um, with gusto. Gusto? No, gusto is what almost got his ass knocked out. Gusto. Gusto got to go. I'm just telling you, it's going to be somebody on this team that says, Tua, come here, put his arm around. We know you get upset when you throw those picks. But live to play another play. I picture it being Calais Campbell who puts him up on his shoulders. No, it, it, or Teron Armstead, mm -hmm. if he's healthy. Um, he has been it, healthy. Yeah, it's, it's got to be it's got to be one of the bets, right? Because... That's kind of how a team operates. Like, if <laughs> if a veteran who's been around the league a long time comes to you and has that conversation, everybody else is going to respect that conversation. But it's just one of those things where when you watch the film and when you watch the offensive film, they'll stop it. They'll run it back and stop it. Tool, what are we doing here? Now, why did you give me this? Nah, I can't get this out. I I can't get this out of my eyes. Now. What of Calais holding <laughs> to a, like, putting two up on his shoulders? Oh, wait, wait, I mean, come here, little like buddy. This, like, hey, little buddy, I need you to stop going too much. We had first yeah. on tackles, <laughs> like holding him like a little baby, like shaking him. <laughs> stop doing that. No, 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 no. <laughs> he could do that too. That would shake shake him like yeah, Simba. That, 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 <laughs> that concuss him. I almost picture him like picking him up like. P five four put some <laughs> <No>. on. <laughs> oh man! Uh, speaking of conversations, Leroy, this weekend coming on up over uh, the Miami Heat, they got something going on this weekend when it comes to uh, these these things. Alonzo Morning, yep. he's got his uh, right. his crew together. Tell yep. people about yep, it. Yep. Here's the thing, guys. You know, when you're a man, you got to be strong. You have to be tough. Will you tell Tua? Don't don't be tough. Don't be strong. Yeah, don't be that tough. Yeah, no. But when it comes to our health. We need to be smart, especially if you're over 45, because there's certain tests you got to have, certain screenings. That's why I want to invite you guys to join Alonzo Morning and other special guests, including Dan Marino and Ed Jovanowski, at the Miami Heat Men's Health Summit on November 16th and learn how to take a proactive approach to your health from some of the country's most renowned health experts. Plus, you can enjoy fun activities, giveaways, raffles for autograph prizes, and more. There's no time to waste. Come and get a health screening like Alonzo Morning did. It saved his life. It could save yours. It's go time. It's zo time. Learn more at baptisthealth.net slash zo time. That's baptisthealth.net slash z-o-t-i-m-e.